Well, good morning, teetotalers, and welcome to another episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. I'm your host, Celeste Barbier. Today is episode number 107 for July 8th, 2020, and today is a Wednesday. So I am drinking a kombucha uplift by M Kombucha, and I'm not going to lie, the reason I'm drinking this instead of drinking regular tea is because it matches my outfit so nicely. Check out that beautiful color. This uplift tea is made, or uplift kombucha tea is made with um, ginger hibiscus, which gets to that pretty, pretty color, and juniper berries, also contributing to the color. I got a whole mix of different kinds of pinks and oranges and peaches going on today. <laughs> anyway, yes, coordinate your food with your outfits. You can only imagine if you could only eat food that was the same color as your clothes. Something to ponder. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to start off with some quotes. Um, first of all, it is Jaden Smith's birthday. You might know him as Will Smith's son. So now I get to, it is, it's, it's good for me and it's interesting to me when I get to the opportunity to quote younger generations because they have some good things to say. And Jaden actually has a lot of good things to say. Um, one of the things I liked that he said was, we want to create a society that is working for us and with us. And we're working for society, not against it. Let me change my emphasis on this particular quote because I feel like I didn't say it with the right emphasis in the right areas. We want to create a society that is working for us and with us. And we're working for society, not against it. A little bit better? A little bit of better intonation? Eh, can still use a little work, right? All right. Well, he also said, I feel like a serious revolution needs to take place in order for human beings to evolve in a way where we can truly exist as a society. I agree with I agree with Jaden. Definitely. I mean, I'm not I'm not eager to get on that revolutionary like end of things being violent. Maybe we can do a nonviolent revolution. I would be all about that. But sometimes things got to get crazy to get things done. I don't support that necessarily, but sometimes it's what you got to do, right? For those of you that don't know, I am a pacifist and um, I do believe in nonviolence if it hasn't been obvious yet. Okay, so then we also have quotes from Marianne Williamson, who was running for president, by the way. I have to say, I just got to voice it, but I was just a little bit disturbed that we had so many women in the running for president and not any of them made it to the finish line. It's such a bummer. Uh, Marianne Williamson, she's a little different. She's a more new ageist kind of author and whatnot. So it was actually kind of surprising that she was running, but... Um, I don't really know a lot about her. I haven't read her books or anything, but I liked some of the quotes that she had. She was born in 1952. She said, in every community, there is work to be done. In every nation, there are wounds to heal. In every heart, there is power to do it. I believe that. I agree with that. She also said, nothing liberates our greatness like the desire to help, the desire to serve. I've found this as well, especially if you're dwelling in a dark place right now. If you're in any kind of dark place with anxiety or depression, reach out and try to help somebody. It is really, really healing and it really makes you feel better. And um, it just it brings a better quality of life when you know that you're helping others. And it really can help um, those feelings go away, the, the depression. Really, honestly, definitely reach out. Try to help. Even if you can't go and volunteer your time and services because of you know COVID or things like that you don't want to be around the people there's different ways you can help and it doesn't have to be monetary either too just my little two cents always um and I like this one too because this is how I, I actually learned I had to learn this and it was a tough lesson <clears throat> let's get a little more kombucha I know nobody likes the sound of people drinking but <clears throat> oh, still waking up I got my wake up voice on I, I, like, I like this one a lot, and this is something I try to tell people all the time. Really, things are bad if you think they're bad. Things are good if you think they're good. She says, we can always choose to perceive things differently. You can focus on what's wrong in your life, or you can focus on what's right. On my 100th anniversary, or my 100th episode of Quarantine Time, I decided to tell you all the greatest things that have come out of this whole COVID 2020 year. And um, it really is, I do see a lot, a lot of negativity. People think this year is awful. It's been a waste of time. It's 
been um, it's been a nightmare for some people, and I understand we're we're seeing people that we love and care for getting sick, and people we and when we've lost people, we can't be there for each other. Not necessarily because of just COVID, but anybody you've lost, you can't have a celebration of life or they would hug one another and be there to comfort one another. It's tough. So we can focus on that, the um, what's been removed from our life, or we can focus on what we now have the opportunity to do or to where we could refocus our time, things we were able to reorganize or be able to do that maybe we haven't gotten to in a long time. If you've been putting off writing your autobiography for years, maybe this is the time that you should have been spending doing that because if anybody says anything, it's like, I don't have time. But um, I know a, couple of, a lot of people are also working extra hours and are working extra hard right now too, especially first responders and people in the medical field and people that are working on our grocery stores. Thank you guys so much. But anyway, there's a lot of things to be grateful for. You just have to change your perspective a little bit. It is also Beck's birthday. You know Beck. Come on, 90s kids. You know who Beck is. 1970 um, was when he was born. He said, as society changes, as politics change, as people change, certain songs still seem to resonate. Isn't that true, though? I mean, I loved this quote because, as you guys know, I sing a lot of covers from the 1920s through the 19... Well, t through today, 2020. And some of those songs, some of those old songs... Man, they are just as true now as they were when they were written. And they can, they just, they are timeless. They care, the, the message still carries through. Okay, so for the national days, it's National Freezer Pop Day. So now's a good, I don't remember, Otter Pops used to be what we used to call them when I was a kid. I think that was a brand name, but Otter Pop Day. I've actually made my own Otter Pops. I have like this huge, I have this huge pack of like those little plastic things you can fill with any kind of juice or whatever and freeze them. So, um, maybe I should try making a kombucha pop. <laughs> I don't know. I've made them with electrolytes and all kinds of things. So, but maybe something to do today. I don't know. Who, who knows? It's also National Chocolate with Almonds Day. I immediately pictured chocolate covered almonds, but I'm guessing any kind of com almond chocolate combination would work for the day. I happen to like those too. I like chocolate covered almonds anytime. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's the whole show today. It's a, it's a beautiful Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you tomorrow for episode 108 and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching Quarantine Time.